Hello folks, welcome back to another episode of TM3 Life. Today we're going to be discussing wireless charging. A lot of you are familiar with wireless charging as some of the newer Model 3s, or actually all the newer Model 3s coming out with, um, especially the 2021s with the redesigned console, and um, the wireless charging up above. And I know that even before that, the console was the same, but they were actually adding in the wireless charging pad. So I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and I know that everyone's like, well, why haven't you done this yet? Hello, welcome to the 21st century. Yes, I know. For the longest time, I had an iPhone 7 Plus. And if you know anything about iPhones, anything previous to an iPhone 8 didn't have the ability to Qi charge. So no wireless charging abilities for me. But knowing that at some point I would upgrade my phone, um, I went ahead and if you're familiar with Jetta, J-E-D-A, um, that company produces not only the wireless charging pad, but the USB hubs for the Model 3 and now the Model Y. Um, so what I've done is I decided, well, when they first came out, I was one of the very first people to reserve it when they were just, you know, first getting their crowdfunding or whatever, or everything set up. And I was in the first or second wave of distributions for the Jetta wireless pad version one and at that time <laughs> it was just the Jetta wireless pad we didn't know how many more versions they were going to come out with but here it is yeah so it's still cellophane wrapped in its original box never been opened because when I received it I still had my 7 plus but I thought you know I'll hold on to this and when I get it I'll install it and we'll use it because it's just extremely convenient as opposed to charging your your phone with cords inside the car. It's obviously it's a much cleaner way of uh, keeping your your phone charged. So then Jetta came out with their Jetta wireless pad version two. So I thought, okay, well maybe I should get this one because here's the Jetta version wireless two pad. Yes, still cellophane <laughs> in the original box, unopened. So I purchased that because it supposedly had, um, well, it had a few different things. It had the ability to, um, uh, I think it had stronger or bigger, bigger charging coils um, for better placement, I guess. And there was also... Um, I believe on the second one, there was the ability to know when you're charging. There's a light that turns on on whichever side you place a phone. So because you, you can charge up to two phones on these. So I ordered that. Still didn't, up, still hadn't upgraded my phone from a 7 Plus. Then what did Jetta do? Jetta version three wireless pad. And this allows you to do, you can place your phone, two phones portrait, one phone landscape, the fastest wireless charging capabilities, like all the new and improvements. So I bought this one. And then finally, I got an iPhone um, 12 Pro Max. So I can take advantage of this. So it's time that we install this. Um, but what am I gonna do with version one and version two, which are still brand new in their boxes? Well, here's what we're gonna do. But I've got more news than just installing the wireless pad. But we're gonna get to that after we install the pad. So let's get to it. Okay, so where's the pad go? Well, if we open up this part of the console, I'll open up the second part of the console. This is where you set your phones currently. Um, and there's a little rubber pad in here that Tesla puts in here, but it's it, when I got my car, this is, remember, this is a 2018. This isn't wireless, which is weird. They are now, everything's wireless now. Uh, but when I got the car, this was not a wireless pad. It wasn't an option. So in order to install it, we need to pull this pad off. This lifts up so we can pull the pad right off. See right there. Get rid of that. Don't need that. We're going to install our new 
uh, wireless pad through here. So essentially we're going to send the, um, the two charging cables back through here and we're going to wind them down in here. I know you can't see down there too well and I didn't bring a flashlight and I apologize for that. But I also have the Jetta USB hub in here as well. So I've got a game controller. Let me pull this out. I've got a game controller in here. Yeah, Xbox controller. Um, so I can play some of the games that you can't play unless you have a controller. So I've got that running. Um, we'll pull that out of the way. I'll just unplug it for now. Don't need that in there. We're going to go ahead and put in the uh, new wireless pad, take a look at it, see what it does. Uh, pull out my phone. This is the phone here. As you can see, nothing too fancy, just the Pro, a 12 Pro Max. Um, once I get used to the 7 Plus, um, couldn't really go to a smaller phone, so went with the latest and greatest. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and quickly install this enough blabbing. Let's open it up. You and me, we're going ahead and open this thing up together. All right, so let's get this cellophane off. This is so surreal to me. Because um, as you know, we have the Jetta, pa the, the Jetta Wireless Pad version 1 and 2 sitting over here with the cellophane still on. I never, <laughs> never opened them. So for me to actually open one is, is a weird experience. I've owned all three and never used any of them except for this one. We are going to use this bad boy. So let's see what we got. I'm sure this isn't the first time you've seen a video of someone putting in their wireless charging pad and all that fun stuff. But uh, like I said, there's more to talk about in this video. And we're going to get to it right after this quick install. So popped open the box here. And this is the, looks like the back of the cover. Oh yeah, and one of the new things with the version 3 is the cables have these mini... Uh, USB ports in the back because the cables are separate and I believe in the other two versions they're permanently attached I don't know that that makes a huge difference either way other thing here and I don't know if the version 2 has this but the other thing too here is that there is um, these little plastic plugs and they mount right up with the plastic plugs that are on the on the plastic there so let's pull the pad out a little it's packed well a little finger release here I'll pull this pad up let's see what we got so here's the pad um, yeah it's a little divider here to keep the phones from sliding over but it's cut so as we can charge a landscape on here I don't know if this has lights on it to let you know that you're charging so I believe I know with the version 2 I believe there was two lights down here that I think lit up um, this one doesn't appear to have that. Again, pros and cons to each version, right? So it is what it is. Um, let's turn this back over to the back because we're going to need to install the cables. So also in here, we have the two cables that we need because um, each one needs to be charged. And we also have a spacer. And so this spacer, you I'll show you how that installs. That essentially keeps the... Um, the phones from falling down. And I believe you can get a spacer with all versions of this actually. I just don't know if the other versions actually came with it or not. I believe version 1 did not come with a spacer. I'm not sure about version 2. Again, I never opened them so I don't know what's in there. Um, but once we reach a thousand subscribers, we're going to do a new video and we're going to do a giveaway. And two of you lucky folks are going to end up, one of you is going to end up with version 1, one of you is going to end up with version 2. Um, so we've got one of the cables installed. We'll install the second one here, and then literally we're just going to fish them through, plug them in, and we're going to be in business. And then we'll discuss the other hot topic of today. Um, okay, now the spacer. So when you put in a, a wireless pad like this, this is no longer thick enough. Well, I mean it is, but not great. It's not going to charge right now, folks. I don't have it plugged in. But it'll fit there. But if you hit a big bump, you see how it kind of slides? So that spacer just gives you more room. So let me show you how that works. So to take the original spacers off, it's very simple. Just slide over a little bit. There you go. What we're going to do is we're going to take the new one. And we're going to slide it on to the spacer. So that way we get to keep our white for our center console wrap. And then we just install this on the same way it came off. And that adds a nice thick lip in there. And now if you were to set a phone in here, 
it's not no matter what you do no matter what bumps you hit that baby is not going anywhere and like i said you can do charge one phone on each side and this is a big phone so you can do two pro maxes i've got a case on this too a small case but still or you can do uh landscape but let's plug them in and make sure it works okay so now we're going to set the phone on the left side here there we go charges pick it up We'll set it on the right side, charges, and let's flip it around, landscape, and there you go. Okay, so now that that's done, again, very quick, easy installation, going to be a huge benefit just to drop my phone in and have it charge whenever I'm driving. So good stuff there. So the big news really um, for this video is that I will be selling this Model 3 at the end of this year. Um, I'll do a whole video on all the upgrades um, and what this car has, um, how the battery degradation has gone, which has been excellent by the way, um, and all that. And the reason why I'm selling it is because I have on order a Cybertruck. Now, whether you like it or whether you hate it, it's going to be something interesting. Now, I'm one of the, I'm in the very beginning of the people that ordered it, like I literally watched the unveil, the night that the truck was unveiled, hated the way it looked, ordered it anyway. Like immediately, as soon as Elon said you could place an order, I placed an order. It was a $100 refundable, you know, deposit, so who cares? And then... Over the year, uh, so November 21st of this past uh, year, 2020, was the one year anniversary of when the truck was unveiled. So over the year, I, the truck has definitely grown on me and I'm really excited about it. Um, it's gonna accomplish a lot of things um, that I want in a car. I love my Model 3, don't get me wrong. The only reason why I'm even selling it is just so I have a good amount of um, equity to put down on the truck. I don't want to sell any stock or anything like that in order to buy the truck. That would be stupid. Um, or I shouldn't say that. That would be, in my opinion, ill-advised. So um, I'm selling the Model 3. And there's only a couple reasons why. Um, I worry a lot about the Model 3. It's got paint, good paint, because it's all been addressed on this car. Everything's fantastic. Um, but I'm always worried about it being parked at a parking you know a lot or parking garage and someone parking next to me and door dinging it or whatever it's a few things i don't have to worry about with the cyber truck i don't have to worry about door dings i don't have to worry about my paint being scraped because it's stainless steel um those are two huge things for me also i wanted the best of everything i need a truck i need something to pull or camper i need something that can haul equipment and i need something that can haul my family a little bit bigger. This is great, but it's not as big as I'd like to have if I want to bring my kids and maybe some friends. Um, I need something bigger. And But I still want something that is fast as heck it can beat most cars from 0 to 60. And well, I ordered the tri-motor version of the Cybertruck, so that's 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. That ought to do it. So really the Cybertruck is the best of all the worlds for me, personally, for what I'm looking for. And I've got a lot of great things we're gonna do with the truck. We're gonna take it off-roading. We're gonna do all these things. I'm taking the very first one that comes off the line that, that I can get allocated to me, regardless of condition, because we're gonna evaluate the quality control of Tesla, see how well they're doing, if they can step it up, if they figured out the manufacturing process of the Cybertruck, because remember, that's completely different than any other thing that they've manufactured before. It'll be coming out of Giga Texas, um, and I'm in the East Coast, so we'll see how quick I'm, I'm able to get it. I've gone to the Cybertruck Owners Club, I've done that. Um, they have a little thing on there where you can see, based on your reservation number, where you are and when your delivery date is gonna be. The delivery date of my truck right now is scheduled for December 23rd of this year. Now, Elon tweeted out and said that it wasn't going to be till 2022 until deliveries start. I did recently check again on the Cybertruck Owners Club, 
still says December 23rd of this year. Regardless, it's either going to be the end of this year or the beginning of 2022. I'm going to sell this car. I have one more good year with this baby, and I'm going to miss it as this thing has been flawless for me. Love it. But I need I need to be able to do more things um, than just drive fast and uh, and you know save the world. <laughs> My little bit that I'm doing here. Um, anyway, so that's the big news. There's going to be a lot of Cybertruck stuff coming on the channel. Now we're going to have a vehicle that we're going to be taking off-roading, vehicle that we're going to be towing with, vehicle that we're going to be taking long trips with. Because again, remember, this thing has 310 miles of range. The Cybertruck has 500 plus. We don't even know exactly. 500 plus miles of range. Most cars can't even get that. Even diesel trucks struggle to get near that sometimes. So, yeah. Big news, it's happening. Um, I will be selling this um, on the channel. I'll be advertising other places as well. Um, if it's something you might be interested in, you know, reach out to me. Um, again, we got a year though, so it's gonna be a little while, but I'm gonna do a full in-depth video on the car, all the upgrades, perks, pluses, pros, cons, everything that's happened to it. Um, and we'll go from there. As always, Let's keep those batteries charged. Happy New Year, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.